Hello, my name is Tom Lum and I'm doing my presentation today for Port Management Strategy on uh, the topic of cooperation between ports. Uh, in the presentation I'm going to outline uh, why ports cooperate, when they cooperate, uh, the different types of port cooperation and um, using a, a table to illustrate that and how they can move the different types of co cooperation between ports and also I'm going to have a look at three specific examples of the type of cooperation between ports um, looking at Malmo, Copenhagen, Los Angeles, Long Beach and Seattle and Tacoma. Firstly looking at the reasons why ports cooperate and they're cooperating more and more these days is, is, the, is the, re the reason for that I would put is over the years um, there's been globalisation in the, in the uh, world shipping, amongst world shipping fleets and forms of alliances, large shipping companies that operate all around the world um, and who are, have, have power to demand the best price and, and also demand that their, uh, their goods be shipped um, in the most efficient and cost-effective cost way. Um, with the rise of these alliances um, and the global reach of these shipping organisations, Previous port monopolies have been broken down. For example, in previous years, they may have had, um, you know, uh, it may have been a port due to geographic location, was about to rely on the monopoly and supporting the uh, direct hinterland behind it. These days, with the with the, with the alliances and the globalisation of, of supply chains, there is competition for hinterlands for these large um, and previously dominant ports, and therefore. To compete, they also have to uh, cooperate with, with other ports, whether they be small inland ports or ports they may be in direct competition with. Uh, related to this is the, is the changing role of the port. Previously, the, the, the ports were seen as simply a node for transferring cargo. Now, of course, they are seen as being an essential link in the logistics chain, and it must be an efficient link in the logistics chain. Uh, therefore, a previously powerful port, if they can't uh, move uh, cargo in an efficient way um, that in which the uh, shipping companies demand in terms of satisfying the shipping companies' clients, um, shipping companies will be able to go to nearby points that serve the same hinterland. Uh, again, uh, just to elaborate on that, the cooperation, why ports cooperate? Well, ports cooperate in order to compete in the global maritime shipping market, which I just mentioned. And co cooperation between ports allows port to, ports to provide more efficient and better value services that meets the demands of customers. Basically, um, without cooperation, it becomes very difficult for many ports to compete and maintain com competitiveness. Just quickly, looking at this table, um, this just outlines different types of um, cooperation. Uh, that uh, exists between ports. Um, I won't spend too long uh, going through that, but in the, the, for the purposes of the, uh, the power head, the overhead notes, might be worth looking at that later, and that comes from the source, from books. Now, quickly looking at the uh, why ports co cooperate. Can you please pause the video, please? 